next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be sharing the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Shafkat Rachmanov. I hope you guys gonna like it. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Shavkat Nomad Rock. Manon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at Portland, Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kick to the head. 
moving to his left now. Unable to connect with the right hand. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. All right, come on. right hand upstairs. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice strike. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Whiffs on that offering. Get back to range. He is all about that left kick to the body. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. into these big leg kicks. Well, missed on that one. Taken down by Lee. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee gets back up, no surprise there. And he landed the right hand there. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Liver kick. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Get the turtle in that kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Leg kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet 
that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Great punch landed with so much power. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. They continue to exchange. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, man, head kick lands. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Right punches there. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice punch here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Body kick is blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily do that. Just misses there with the left. I see the taller tie now. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues. Well, the opponents seem to think he had short up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit the takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Final seconds here of round two. All right, round three coming up next. All 
All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, continue. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Good punch, Lance. Oh, collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The next with a right. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And they separate. Good punch. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did. That shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, yeah, right here. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Left hand punch from the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he set a trap. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off, trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement, he understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponent. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Blocks that strike. Not there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, the there, and somehow his opponent.
opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And they separate. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice soup and punch. Beautiful body kick. Single collar tie now. Some nice back and forth action here. Lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Big knee lands there. That knee hurts. Big punch land. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. is blocked, no damage there. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, his way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Ninety seconds now remain in the round. Real sneaky body. Back and forth we go. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Under a minute.
it to go in round four. Let's go, guys, work! Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, half-guard position here, DC. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. My triangle, my triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. And this might just be a matter of time. there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through DC here's your highlight it was straight he threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Fifth and final round. Beautiful punch. Head kick is blocked. Just you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Hey! Didn't bring that left hand. Now a knee. Oh, he might be out. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, what a punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number five. We play the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, he got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked to the octagon with him were sure 
that he would win this fight. All you need is your army. You're the warriors on the front line. And that group of warriors knew that they could get the job done. They did, and now he's the UFC champion.